In order to do so, we access transaction SE37 in the corresponding backend system. And then fill in with UWL get items proxy. To run the function module, you can click the highlighted button or alternatively click the F8 keyboard button. This is the screen where we have to fill the input parameters of the function module. The channel ID input parameter can be filled with any random value. Provider module input parameter must be left empty. For provider object, we have a fixed value to be informed for the purpose of this test. The next step is to inform the users to be included in the delta pool channel that we are going to create. We'd better inform more than one user in this input list, so the new line option can be used to add new rows so that you can add more users. Once you have added enough rows, you can click the row in order to fill in with the user ID. After having added the users to the list, click the back button so that to revert to the previous screen. Next step is to run the function module after having filled the input parameters. In the result screen, it displays the time it took for the function module to get executed. As you can see, it displays in microseconds as the time unit. If it is more than one second, then we have a problem from workflow perspective and we have to investigate in that direction. 